China, a country known for its architecture, landscape, culture, history, language, and food. My challenge in this video is to travel to three major cities in China and try their weirdest local foods. And it only gets weirder as the video unfolds. To commence this challenge, I'm gonna start at Muslim Street, located in Xi'an, which was the capital of the Chinese Empire. This is the soup of Xi'an and it's invented in the Song Dynasty. As you can see, it's a bit gooey. This is the world's oldest hamburger and I dipped it in my soup. Take a guess at how much that soup costs. Well, believe it or not, that soup actually costs less than 1.3 dollars. Crazy, right? But that's the average price of a meal in Xi'an. I'm gonna keep looking for weird foods in this amusement park. The first thing I saw was miniature dumplings. I wanna say they taste better than a normal one. Now is where things start to get weird as I found a stand that sold duck intestines. Tastes literally like squid. As weird as it sounds, this is sheep blood made into a jello mixed with noodles. Then I found the mythical stinky but supposedly tasty tofu. This does not smell edible at all. Let's try it. This smells like sewage and tastes like sewage. After that traumatizing dish, I decided to take on more in this culture accumulating compound. I'm at an ancient business district, Yongxi. This is fried mochi. My favorite dessert now. This is an ancient tradition. The heroes come home and smash their bowls. I bet you've never seen a mountain of broken bowls. I guess this one survived. After drinking water from the bowl, I tried some grounded up peanut water. Tastes like chalky soy milk. Still not as weird compared to the soup that contains four cow organs. Two organs in one bite. Not bad at all. You might think this is meat, but it's not. It's actually made out of soybeans. This tastes like meaty tofu, but much better than the one I had this morning. Now it was time for dessert, so I went for the classic tang hulu. This is a tang hulu. It's basically a sour hawthorn fruit coated in syrup. This is every Chinese person's childhood. After that, I had another tang hulu, except this time it was filled with air. I got a tiger because I am one on the Chinese zodiac. I now behold the maker's fingerprint and his breath. It's day two and I'm in this train station. Let's see if I can find anything back there. Surely I did. I'm gonna try this on my train to Chengdu. According to whoever this is, this thing has like 1 million strands. I might be the first person to try a dragon spear candy at 300 miles per hour. This was so soft it fell apart in my hands, but it's very satisfying to eat and not satisfying to clean up. After that, I finally arrived in Chengdu, the vacation destination in China and home to the giant pandas. Now I'm biking to a place called Jingli. This is sugarcane juice. Really tasty, unlike brains. The texture is like bone marrow, but has no flavor. That was the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. I'm at the Chengdu Panda Research Base, and I'm eating the inside of a bamboo. I thought this was the baby bamboo, but it's actually this. Looks like meat, right? The texture is like a grape, but has no flavor. So I searched for more flavorful foods in this night alley, consisting of wide and narrow streets dating back to the Qing Dynasty. Mahjong is a famous table game, and they made it into candy. The green stuff is matcha, and the white stuff is yogurt. More like spoiled milk. Let's find out why this is called dog poop candy. Does this look like dog poop? Hopefully it doesn't taste like it. It has a strong sesame flavor and many undigested mixed nuts. I would definitely eat that again. Now let's try this beef jerky. No doubt this is the best beef jerky I've ever had. This fruit is called the cornice. You get like these pulps, like an orange, but they kind of look like a kidney to me. There's also a seed in the middle, tastes like leafy yogurt. This is an unknown hybrid, but the seller called it the golden fruit. Looks artificial enough. It's sour, but not in a good way. I'm at the airport waiting for my flight to Beijing, and you'll never guess what I found at this store. I've had a rabbit as a pet before, so I'm very disturbed. This is so scary, there are three of them. They're gonna haunt me in my dreams. All right, let's try it. My pet owner instincts told me I can't pass the psychological barrier of eating it. So I starved on my way back to Beijing. Let's eat the most dangerous fish. 
Of course I'm talking about the puffer fish that puffs up its body as a defense mechanism and contains toxins enough to kill 20 adults. So if the meat is misprepared, it can be fatal. Let's just say either ways, the meal will taste heavenly. It has no flavor and I'm alive. Let's try its prickly skin. I wonder if that's what someone's beard would taste like. Cheers. This is the best broth ever. All the flavor of this fish went into the soup. You can taste like all the spices, all the vegetables, and this fish in this bland looking soup. It leaves sort of a peppery aftertaste. Let's eat at this crab meat restaurant. Look at the amount of crab claws and crab legs. Dinner time. I'm not full for the rest of the year. I just ate an entire species of crab. I think they're extinct now. The next morning, I tried some unique Yunnan food, including this volcano cooked fish and a variety of insects. Like before, the flavor of the fish has gone into the soup. This is rice water. It flushes away the flavors in your mouth. I should have saved that for later as the next dish was very unsavoring. This is bamboo worm, the french fries of Yunnan. This is its head and you can see its tiny little legs. This is a grasshopper, you can still see its little wings. It's crispy and salty. And lastly, this is a bee's cocoon. It tastes like egg yolk inside. All the food in this buffet looks normal, right? Until you realize there's an aquarium in the middle of this all-you-can-eat buffet. $50 per person is a fair price to pay when you can get literally anything you want. So let's go ahead and try the weirdest things I can find. Starting with baby sea urchin. That is really fresh. Next up we have caviar, crab eggs, and sea grapes. The sea grapes though give you a taste of the sea. Salty. Here we have a sea cucumber, aka the worm looking thing. Different texture, tastes just like a cucumber. So this soup is called Monk Jumps Over the Wall because it's supposedly so good that the monks who are forbidden to eat meat jump over the wall just to try this. It contains quail eggs, razor fish, arctic bay, abalone, sea cucumber, and fish gelatin. Let's find out if it lives up to its name. I would genuinely climb Mount Everest if this thing was waiting for me at the top. This looks like seafood, but it's actually the cow's stomach. Disgusting. And finally, alligator meat. Well, here goes nothing. It's sturdy like gum. You might be disappointed to hear this, but it tastes just like chicken. haagen ice cream to go, and I have a flight to catch. I'm finally back to the UAE. Here are the final exotic delicacies of China, so let's try it. Let's start with the pear soup. This actually tastes much better than it looks, and it's healthy. I'm not quite sure what these are. Oh, wait, there's writing on it. It translates into mashed dates and walnuts. Let's try it. It melts in your mouth and has a hint of berries. Now onto whatever these are. I'd have to eat it to know what it actually is. Ew, it's just a pie with eggs in the middle. The texture of this one is actually really good. It's durian, I hate durian. Overall, this trip was unique, and I got to learn more about China's culture through its exotic food. Well, the people there just call it food. However might these foods seem disgusting, don't let that dissuade you from visiting China. There are culinary delights in every corner, breathtaking views in the rural parts, and archaeological sites teeming with mysterious and ancient artifacts. The best thing is, trips to China are actually super budget friendly, and I linked some of my other experiences in China in the description. Also, subscribe and hit the like button so you can stay tuned for the next video.